I'm sorry. What? It's a shanda. It's a shanda. Is this Yiddish? It's telling someone something negative. A lot of these things seem to be. Schmendrick. You're a schmendrick. Wow, okay, that's very aggressive. <laughs> it's just that dismissive hand movement. Like, it's for It's for Lean idre. Pardon? Lean idre and bacon bagel. Bacon bagel. A bacon bagel. He would eat bacon from a pig's mouth. No, no, I've told you, it's not. <laughs> so really, I should be like, Lean in throat and bacon bacon. <laughs> you are eat more bagel. And you sound like a very angry pirate. Please exit my personal space. <laughs> Is that it? What Drag does it one do with bread that sounds like bacon? You eat it, you toast oh, it, you slice God. it. Is this the best you could find me? <laughs> you bake it. Yes! It's a curse. I lie on the ground and bake bagels. I'm sorry, the what? Curse? That doesn't sound too bad. Which apparently means that you should burn in hell for all eternity and bake bagels that you may never eat. Oh, well, that's, that changes things this, and not being you. able to eat them. This is like a Jew's nightmare. It's fakakta. This is so interesting. It's what it sounds like. Fakakta. It's, fakakta. it's just that dismissive hand movement. Everything in Yiddish is very dismissive. Like, this is my personal space and I've lived here for 800 years. <laughs> Eating for schnoggy and herring and get out of here, basically. <laughs> Schmendrick. <laughs> Schmendrick. Say again? You're a Schmendrick. This is another insult. Just people oh. at home. <laughs> <laughs> there are other phrases in Yiddish that are not negative. Know that. But this is another insult. You're useless. You're... How? Way. <laughs> Whoa. How? Again, this sort of generic term for a... for a... a shmeril. A shlemiel. <laughs> a shmendrik shlemazel shlemiel. There's very different connotations. Like someone of little worth with an inflated ego. I should stop calling people that then. Told you, Yiddish people. Yiddish language, full on. They just don't care. Main bobber's tongue. My stomach is full. Your bobber. Boba Fett. Boba's, I think, is... Grandma. Sounds a bit like an insult, then. You looked around this building and, and started judging <laughs> what they were wearing. Ah, main Bob's Tom. <laughs> I tried. Tom. Taste. Taste. My grandmother's taste. What? what? To have a taste that's out of date, tacky or old-fashioned. It's a bit mean to grandparents, really. Shanda. Ah, oh, this I know. Shanda! Ah, uh, the Shanda! It's a Shanda! <laughs> it's a disgrace. The stuff that people wear here is a Shanda. It's main Bobba's time, it's a Shanda. It is a Shanda. You've created a Shanda right now. It's a big Khalil Hashem. Scandal, I'll take yeah. it. I should have done English. No, I should have taken Yiddish. <laughs> An alter kaka. Yeah. <laughs> clips me here. When you don't get your right food, you're upset. Yes. You're mad. Yes. Like a person who's struggling along. In. <laughs> I'm unhappy, what do you mean? Don't get my food wrong! I'm you need like a core of alter cuckers in every community. They're lovely, they're just slow moving. They're the ones that like, complain that the kids are running too fast and shouting. Get stretch and the geese! Go the geese, yeah. No, you need them, you need them. They're the backbone, the frail and decrepit and painful backbone of every community. Is this actually Yiddish? This is tragic. Spilkers? Yeah, so the classic Jewish worrying, <coughs> panicking... Sitting on pins and needles, waiting yes. to see what's going yes. to happen. It's not waiting to see what's going to It's preparing for the worst, because the worst will happen. And Knowing that the worst it is It will coming. happen, and anything you've predicted, it'll be even worse than that. That's Spilkers, and that's what we're best at. <laughs>